This is Joe, and this is my study cam video. Now, I built one of these about a year ago. This is the famous $14 do-it-yourself study cam. I built mine out of PVC for about $8 instead of using steel piping. And then, about two weeks ago, I saw this, which is a three-axis gimbal-based uh, study cam. Pretty good instructions. I was able to follow it, although I have made some modifications uh, based on this. So you start out with your 608 uh, bearing, your common skate bearing. I bought mine on eBay for a dollar. I think shipping was like 50 cents. So I bought like five of them. Um, and then you've got the three quarter PVC pipe and the one inch PVC pipe. And then the, he's using a two inch PVC pipe. I actually opted to use the one and a half inch PVC just to keep it kind of compact. And uh, you also notice he's using couplings. Um, rather than buying a giant long pipe from the hardware store, you could just buy couplings, which are, oh, maybe two inches long. Um, I bought mine off of McMaster because I order parts from there all the time. They're about 50 cents a piece. And then uh, he's also using this weird wooden mount for his camera. Um, since most cameras have this... Uh, this quarter inch, quarter twenty thread on the bottom. What I ended up doing is uh, he's using a five sixteen thread and I made my own little adapter that would adapt to the quarter twenty. So I just bought like I don't know, just a common spacer, it's not even threaded, and then I uh, you know drilled the size I needed and tapped my own threads and uh, you know used Loctite on there. So this is my gimbal. Um, as you can see it's pretty compact, it swivels real nice. Uh, these are like round-headed machine screws. Um, I actually cut them short because my stuff is so close. Uh, one thing you want to make sure when you do this, make sure your holes are really straight and really centered because if these are off by a little bit, you'll really notice it. And when you go to swivel this, the, the screws will actually start rubbing against and you won't get a nice smooth action on it. And then the other thing is on his, he used washers as weight. I actually took the weights off my old steady cam, which are two and a half pounds a piece. And what's really cool about these weights, I bought these at Myers, and the inner hole is almost exactly three quarter. So I ended up just buying three quarter PVC pipe. Uh, I just buy a couple caps, and you know your three quarter in the middle, and you just squeeze these together. You just you know bolts and lock washers on each end, and you get it nicely fastened. So. Um, I took a separate video of how it actually works. Um, I'm really impressed with it. It's it's given me such way better video than my other one. Um, I have noticed, I, I've got to practice a little bit. It's kind of hard to get used to, but you want to hold it kind of like this. And as far as tilting the camera, you just want to kind of lean and turn a little bit, and the camera will just kind of go in that direction. Um, I'm actually filming this with a Panasonic TZ5, and this is one of the cameras that has uh, the holes offset. It's not exactly centered on the camera. I think that's actually helped because uh, because it's offset. The weight kind of you know you get an offset weight to get it started. So you know when you start turning it, it just starts to turn. I think if the camera was centered, it may not actually turn. So it's kind of helped me a little bit. So that's about it. Um, I'm gonna try to post some information on the side here uh, of all the parts I bought to make this so if you want to make your own you can